What's up guys? Welcome back to Sinister Cast and in today's episode uh, I'm going to be talking about the topic of how I started and why I started guitar. So to start off, many, 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 many years ago, probably close to 9 or 10 years ago, I, uh, we, my, my family was either cleaning our house or someone else's house or something, and they found an old acoustic guitar. And I remember looking at it and going, oh, that's cool. I'll try to mess around with that a little bit. And so I did. The, this, this guitar was a piece of literal shit. Like, it was, it was an old, old, old guitar. The wood was really warped. The neck was like, you know, bowed like that. I mean, it was a serious freaking curvature in the neck. And there's no truss rod to even adjust it. So that tells you what kind of guitar it was. So I had to play with the strings like that much off the neck. And uh, if you play guitar and you know anything about playing guitar, that's really bad. Uh, but I still stuck with it. I didn't know any better at the time. But I still stuck with it. Uh, I, I tried to learn a lot of different things. You know, I learned tried to learn smoke on the water on a single string, you know, like everybody else does. Stairway to Heaven, Paint It Black. All the classic stuff that you would think a beginner guitar player would try to learn, I practically tried to learn. And uh, I remember, uh, well, to begin with, my father is the reason why I'm like into metal and stuff like I am. He's the one who got me introduced to it. He's the one who who kind of uh, incubated this, uh, this uh, metal personality of mine. Because I'd be sitting in the car with him, uh, running around doing errands when I was real little. And he'd be sitting there blaring Megadeth and Slayer and whatever other band he was listening to. So it was kind of in my head, but I liked it. Um, so I started trying to learn stuff like Master of Puppets and just, you know, more metal stuff. And part of it was because I wanted to be able to replicate some of my favorite songs and be able to play with them or play them. And part of it was because I kind of wanted to show off and it wasn't like show off. Hey, look, everyone, I can play this. It was more or less for my dad. Like I, I wanted to impress him and be like, hey, look, I could play some of the songs we like, you know. And that was kind of part of what drove me to learn. And I'm also really I, I don't have OCD. I don't I'm not clinically overly compulsive. But I think I have like the the obsessive side of OCD uh, because when I get started with something, it's like that's all I do, my one track mind kind of thing. And I'm really, really, really hard on myself when it comes to that kind of stuff. I've kind of gotten lack lackluster a little bit recently just because I work so much and I'm going back to the gym and you know it's living life when you're a lot older is a little bit tougher. Back then I had all the time in the world except for school. Uh, but basically even now, this is what it comes down to. If I learn something new, uh, like a new riff or something, new lick that I don't get it right away, I have to get it right at least three almost perfect times in a row to be able to stop. Otherwise I can't stop. If I do the first and second take real perfect and then mess up halfway through the third take, I start all over and have to do three in a row again. And that kind of helped me to develop fairly quickly and kind of build up my skills a lot quicker and I remember I don't know if it was the year after or how long it took but my parents noticed how serious I was about uh playing the guitar and stuff and so for my birthday they got me a an electric guitar and that's like when that's really when everything started you know you know they got me the very basic beginner electric guitar that everybody gets black and white whammy bar real simple cheap hundred dollar type guitar and a little pv amp that i actually i still have setting over there because for a small little practice amp it sounds damn well good um so i practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced I did all the same stuff. I would play Stairway to Heaven on it. I would just smoke on the water. Started to learn to master of puppets more. And I'll have to I'll have to go through on my computer and try to find some of the old videos of myself playing because I had an old crappy camera and I think I've mentioned this camera in a another podcast. But it was um, 
a really small, crappy, kind of, not disposable, but it was still a digital camera. It was just cheap. And I would record myself playing stuff. You know, I was trying to learn how uh, uh, how to play Master of Puppets, uh, The Number of the Beast by Iron Maiden. Uh, I was trying to learn the tapping piece from Eruption by uh, Van Halen. And uh, so I practiced hours and hours and hours and hours every day. Like, I'd get home from school, and I would go straight to playing, and I would play for hours until we had to eat dinner. Then I'd eat dinner, go back up, and I'd still play. And I did that for a long, long, long time. And I don't know how long after, it was probably a year, maybe two after that, of just playing all the time and practicing and learning new songs, I, uh, my father got, like, a bonus from his job. And it was a it was a fairly decent bonus, and he wanted to get my brother and I, and I think my sister as well, something as like a gift, you know, because he got this bonus. And I think my brother picked a bunch of video games and stuff, because that's my brother's more into that kind of stuff. He's more of the computer geeky kind of guy, playing a lot of video games and stuff like that. He's he's a gamer, and I'll I'll play games with him all the time over Steam and stuff. Uh, he's around my age; he's only two years younger, but yeah. Uh, but he got me, we went and looked at a, at a music shop, and we uh, finally established on a guitar, and he bought it for me. And what he bought was my Dean Dave Mustaine signature VMNTX Flying V that you see in my videos, the black Flying V guitar. My dad bought that for me years and years and years ago from that bonus. It had to get a little bit of work done and needed some fret work and stuff, but that was fine, you know? It was just great having, like, an actual metal-looking guitar. It, you know, it was more serious. It was like, okay, this is something I'm going to do. This is awesome. This is this is sweet. And, you know, that just kind of fueled the fire, and I practiced even more, and I was going nuts. I played on that guitar for so long, so many hours logged into that, so much sweat, blood, and tears into that guitar, and I... I don't, I'm not lying when I say sweat, blood, and tears. Like, I would play till my fingers bled, literally, they would bleed until I built up my calluses. I would sweat all the time on it. You know, you get sweat in your pickups and stuff, but it kind of gives it a characteristic sound. And, you know, there was tears because I would get frustrated with parts and I would get super pissed off because I couldn't get a certain part down. And, you know, like I said, I had to get something right at least three times in a row. And there was times that I just absolutely couldn't. I would spend like an hour or two on the same five second riff trying to get it right. And I just couldn't. But, uh, yeah. And, you know, eventually I bought some other guitars. I bought my acoustic guitar. I bought Jade, my acoustic, who's actually sitting over there. I bought Scarlet, who's the Schecter that you see in videos. And it just, you know, kind of blossomed from there. And then... Uh, my dad and I, uh, mostly my dad built, uh, the cabinet you see in some of my videos. It's sitting over there. Um, it's a homemade cabinet. It's four eights, I believe. Um, sounds really freaking phenomenal with, with, with my, uh, Marshall and, uh, my, my Marshall head. And, uh, that kind of was the basis. And then I kind of branched out from there buying different equipment and microphones. Uh, I was, I have really really, really early recordings of myself, uh, playing, playing music and trying to record metal songs with some really crappy drum tracks and stuff like that. And it was just, uh, it was a crazy, crazy time. Cause I still have some of the stuff. Like I saved a lot of that stuff and I can go back and listen to it and watch it. And, you know, I would get my friends involved. There's a couple songs that I wrote with one of my good buddies from high school. And, I mean, they're really stupid songs, but they just, it was still something fun, you know. They weren't metal songs or anything. They were just, uh, they were just like acoustic kind of sing-songy type song, campfire type songs. Um, but, but it was still fun. And, and eventually I kind of, I started playing in the jazz band for the middle school that I was going to, uh, which it was after school. But I think it was after school. I can't remember. But eventually it moved to a zero hour, I think, which is like before school starts in high school. And at that point I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that. I, I had football and wrestling and other stuff going on. I just couldn't take anything else more um, on top of my already busy schedule. 
Um, but yeah, and now it's just kind of blossomed into what it is now. I'm still not at where I would like to be. I wish I could practice more every day and I need to get back into the habit of practicing every day. It's kind of one of my goals now. I'm trying to get my, my life on a better track right now. Like I told you, I'm going to the gym again. So I'm, I've been going to the gym every morning. So I kind of want to do a thing where I go to the gym every morning. Uh, you know, I've been also trying to eat healthier, coming back, making breakfast and uh, drinking my protein shake. And then I want to set it up to where I practice for like an hour or something after that. And I have the time to do it. So I just have to do it. I think I've just gotten into that zombie mode that everyone does of, I need to sit down and watch YouTube videos for four hours and I need to get out of that because I can definitely use my time a lot better. Um, I can use it better to make videos. I can use it better to practice guitar and, and tone my skills more. And, and it's, it's a goal of mine, you know, and I should probably, I've been trying to get started on it. That's, that's part of why I've been introducing newer things into the channel. Like, uh, earlier this week, I released the lick of the week thing, which is something that I want to do every week to help you guys learn new guitar licks and have better, um, a better range of things that you can play. And it also keeps me on top of everything to where, okay, I got to have a video by this time. I need to put it out. It forces me to practice and come up with things for you guys. It, and it just kind of forces me into this path of doing stuff. But yeah, it's, it's been a long process, you know, eight, nine, 10 years. I can't even remember at this point. Uh, but it's been a really long process. I've been playing for quite some time and, uh, it's crazy, you know, it's crazy to think about because it's such a huge part of my life and has been for so many years. It's just, it's insane. You know, there's this piece of wood with strings on it can like become an obsession and a passion in your life. It's kind of a crazy thing. And I mean, that goes for any instrument, but it's like weird to think about, you know, but, uh, yeah. So I think I'll end the video here. Uh, if you guys want to hear more about my journey as a guitar player and stuff, I can, I could speak more about it, but, uh, I don't want to make these sinister casts like 20 minutes long or anything like that. But if you're still watching, I did want to ask you a question. What, what do you guys think about me having like guests on sinister cast? Like if I was able to have some interesting people come on here and talk and have me interview them and just talk about different topics, you guys can ask us questions and stuff like that, or even me directly questions to get input from other people. So let me know, do you, do you think you guys would want to see some guests on Sinister Cast? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, but I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, go check out some of the videos I just posted. Yesterday I posted a, another comedy like sketch and a couple days earlier than that I did the Lick of the Week. So go check those out. Uh, like this video, share it with your friends. And if you already haven't, hit that subscribe button with a notification bell so you can get notified whenever I put videos up just like this one. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you in the next video.